In today's episode, we are going to talk about multi-layer technique in sound design, analyzing a film that I've been working recently. Let's have a look. Okay, so in this scene, I want to showcase a multi-layer technique by creating an ominous sounding drone that describes a scene of a film that I've been working and composing music for. It's a film by a Portuguese film director, Vasco Viana, where I created from scratch sound and music. So let's see the scene and then we're gonna talk about the whole thing. Okay, so that you saw the scene, we're able to grasp the effect and the impact. So now we're going to break down the scene and we're going to see each layer, each channel and the thought process behind it. So this is the same scene, obviously, and let's play from here. So the scene interested, it's about the ghost that it's been seen on a deep mystic forest. My job as a sound designer is to design atmospheric sounds that evoke certain mysterious feelings. The full version of the film will be available soon, but for now we are going to focus on this scene where I have created a series of layered sounds that all together result on a deep, sub, wet trope sort of things. So, now let's focus on the FX part, which is this one here, which is actually the meat, the soul of the moment. And we have five sounds. So the first one here, let's let's play just the first sounds by itself. Okay. So the first sound is called Wind Ghost. Uh, it's a spirit howling sounds. A sort of spiritual shadow, shadowy sounds, let's let's call it like this. So it's a library sound of a dark whisper, and I had added some reverb on the channel and also on the aux as well. On the, the aux features a, a diverb, which is a native reverb from Ableton. So all I did in this in this one, you know, because this was without reverb, I just was adding reverb and also removing a little bit of the uh, lowest frequencies that you would need, you know, this low information. So you have like a sort of just the introduction of the ghost. The second sound, it's a drone. Call it low drone, and it's been made in a reactor and then rendered in audio. This low drone also has an aux connected to the same reverb. And we can see that towards the end, this sound, it's been cut off because there is a transition scene in that moment. The third sound is still reactor, but this time I made a very fat and sub bass line that basically accompany and give a tasty low end to the other atmospheric sounds. So this is the most bassy sound that we, that we got. So really strong, meaty bass sound. And this basically is the bass foundation of the other sounds. And also it's got a low pass filtering because of the transition scene and also it has a reverb aux connected as well 
The for sound is uh, from a library of rumble rocks in motion. So basically this is a sound of, uh, you know, a earthquake sound, we can call it, where I have massively reduced some of the high frequencies without, uh, without equalizer sound with this. But I wanted to attenuate the higher, higher frequencies and just have this low and medium sound. And again, it's connected to a reverb aux. So the four sounds together sounds like this. And then here you have the foundation of the moment, of the appearance of the ghost. Connected with that, because we can see that in the scene, there is leaves going upwards. So we have a channel of folly. Because we see the leaf going upwards, we had to use some dry autumn leaves and scramble them in front of the microphone and then added some effect to flavoring. So, so this is the leaf sound. Let's play it by itself. So I add a, a double four from waves to give this kind of upwards effect. So this together with the effects, you know, adds another layer of uh, realism in this case because this is folly and folly it's realism in in the video so you can see and then again because the leaves are going upwards there must be wind and the wind is coming from this recording uh, which is called uh, wind and rain in iceland so let's play now the whole sounds without the wind and we're gonna add it now So the wind function as a sort of drone, a humming drone. But you can see that without. It just has a frequency band added. And here, as we can see that we have this kind of uh, lower, lower pass going on, it's because it's connected to another scene that leads to the ending scene of the film which we're not going to focus for now because otherwise it will be too much. But again, this film will be out soon. So we're going to see the whole thing with music and, you know, it's, it's, it has been a very nice adventure to working on this film. So yeah, this is basically uh, my take on this scene with all those effects. And there is no a rule of thumb. Anyone is, you know, free to do pretty much whatever they want to do when they want to create their sound design. But in my case, I wanted to basically show uh, my thought process behind this particular scene and the amount of drone that I layered down together with the sound of the wind and the sound of the foley, and then some music in the background as well that we come to the section that we're not going to see today. But yes, that's that's my take on this uh, film from Vascoviana called Fantasma that is going to be out soon on the web.